Hey everyone, Matt Sosman here, and I'm gonna show you how you can download a file from Slack, but upon download, apply DLP to that file. Actually apply Azure Information Protection label to that file that then encrypts that file no matter where it goes. So if you download that file to your personal computer, uh, it's encrypted. If you send it to somebody, it's encrypted, and you have to have the proper permissions in order to open it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are inside Azure Active Directory, and I added Slack as an enterprise application. I have also enabled single sign-on, and then I created a conditional access policy to enable this functionality. So we scoped the conditional access policy to one user. We added Slack as a uh, app here that's scoped, no conditions. Uh, we're just gonna grant access, and then under session, we're gonna check the box here to enable conditional access app control, and then use a custom policy, and then save that guy. Now once we save it, we're gonna go over to uh, Microsoft Cloud App Security and create a session policy. And we're gonna use control file download with DLP. We're gonna set a filter to app equals Slack, uh, we're not going to do an inspection method, although you could inspect the file for sensitive data, but we're not. Uh, and then we're going to choose protect, apply label, and choose our Azure Information Protection label that we want to apply to that file. As you know with Azure Information Protection, it labels a document, it applies specific permissions to the document, and then it also encrypts the document using AES-256 encryption. And then here I could create an alert to, uh, to go ahead and alert me when this policy is met. So once we do that, we're gonna come over to Slack. And here we are inside Slack, and we're gonna download this file, Employee Health Accounts. So I'm gonna come over here and click on the Download button inside Slack to download that file. And it's gonna download that Excel spreadsheet. So here it is. And we're gonna launch that spreadsheet. Now when I launch it, here it is, so I can view it just like normal. But if we go to Sensitivity, notice it has the financial data uh, label on it. So that means it's actually encrypted. Now, and it's also tied to specific permissions. So because I'm logged in as Megan, of course I have permissions to this thing. But if I send this to somebody who doesn't have permissions, then that's a different story. So let's copy this. And I'm gonna go back to my host machine here, my personal Mac, and I'm going to try to open this file on my personal Mac. Now when I do that, look what happens you do not have permission to open this workbook. I cannot open that file, let's try it again. Boom, stopped my tracks, you do not have permission. Let's try. Now if we try to open that file with something else like a text editor, so let's find our text editor here, there's text edit. When I open it up here, you will notice that it says this document contains sensitive financial data and the document is actually encrypted. So that encryption and that label travels with the document. Now if we switch back here to the lab and we go to Cloud App Security and we refresh our alerts page, here you will see an alert come up for this specific download activity where I actually applied the label, and there you go. And then if we come over here to our activity filter, we will look at the activity filter, and here I can see where somebody tried to download that file. It applied the Azure Information Protection label. There's the file, and I can get other telemetry about that activity. I can see where that user is coming in from, so on and so forth. Really, really cool stuff. Again, this is all about being able to apply data loss prevention to that file upon download from Slack. Now there's one thing I need to mention here that's extremely important, and that is this only works when you're in a browser-based app. So if you use the desktop version of Slack, this will not work. It has to be the web browser version, but you can create a policy to block mobile and desktop apps if you really, really wanted to. All right, folks, there you go. I hope you found value in this video. This was all about allowing files to be downloaded from Slack but applying Azure information protection to that file upon download so that it's properly labeled, it has the right permissions scope to it, and it's encrypted. So that way, if you do have to send this file somewhere else after you download it from Slack, it's protected. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on LinkedIn. Put your questions down in the comments below if you want. And by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.